So let's talk about resizing your model. Here is our Ender dog, our test print doggo. I imported him into Cura, and this is the size that he showed up. But maybe this isn't the size we want. So let's find out how big he really is. Click on him, click on your scale icon, and here you will see his size. He is 100% of his original scale, and these are his dimensions. If you're somebody who isn't familiar with millimeters, you can simply open a browser window and type millimeters to inches. You will get this awesome screen right here. So you'll see that he is 49.9978 inches tall. And we can type in 49.9978 and find out that he's 1.96841723 inches tall. But let's say you wanted him to be three inches tall. You can go here, type in three, and find out that three inches is 76.2 millimeters. Looking over here at the scale field, that means when you change one axis, the other axis will change proportionately to maintain his proportions. So we type in 76.2 millimeter, and he has been adjusted to the correct proportions to now be three inches tall while retaining his other dimensions proportionately. You will notice that in order for him to be three inches tall, he was scaled to 152.41% of his original size. However, you will notice when you rescale a model, it rescales in place. In other words, his center point stays his center point and he is rescaled right there on the spot. So you'll see his legs have dipped below the bed. This is super important to remember. It's obviously very clear right here, but on some models it may not be. And if you made a very small adjustment, for example, if you were 100% and you made a change to 101%, you may not realize that his feet now go below the bed. He may simply look like he gained 1% in size, but you'll find out when you print him that you cropped off the bottom millimeter of his feet. The solution for this is to change his z-axis. So let's pretend he's 120%. You'll see now just how much of his feet are below the bed. You will want to click on your model, click on move, and now look, his Z is minus 4.9998. We want to make him zero with your Z, which is perfectly flat to our print bed. So let's utilize all of the things we learned previously to make a row of three dogs in three different sizes. We will right click, we will multiply him by two copies, and there are three identical dogs of the new scale. We'll click on both of these dogs. We'll click on rotate. We'll click it twice to rotate them to face the same way. We'll then click each dog and choose move and set the Y axis to zero. They are now centered and we'll click each individual dog and move it aside. So we have one inline row of doggies. Now, sometimes you'll notice when you duplicate models or work with models that it does show a zero Z axis as dark blue. I'm not sure why this happens, but multiple versions of Cura have done this. You'll find that if you were to grab him and just move him and put him back to zero, that his color changes back to the correct color. If you see that his color is dark blue and not light blue, don't panic, you'll see how it went back to the correct color. You will pay most attention to the actual number. Zero is zero. If it says zero, it's level with the print bed. Now let's scale them different sizes. You can click on him, go to scale, go to percent, and make him 110%. And then you can go to him and make him 105% and you can leave him 100%. Now you've got three dogs, three different scales. Keep in mind you've made changes, so now he's below the bed. Back to move, your Z is zero. Click on the next one, your Z is zero. And now they're level with the bed at their three different sizes. Of course, if you need them to be specific sizes, you go to scale and you type in the Z height 
or the Z width. How you scale depends on the specifications you require. For example, if you require your model is two inches wide, then you would need to scale him based on his X axis. Two inches is 50.8 millimeters. So we click here and change his X to 50.8 millimeters. Now you know that he is 50.8 millimeters wide and the rest of his body has been scaled to match. But let's say you needed to scale him on his Z axis. In other words, you needed him to be a specific height, say two and a half inches. We know that 2.5 inches is 63.5 millimeters. So we'll change his Z to 63.5 millimeters. And now his X and Y have changed proportionately and he is 2.5 inches tall. You will of course need to re-zero his Z to place him on the bed and now the model is the size you need. Keep in mind you do not have to proportionately resize him. You can click on him, you can click on scale, and you can remove uniform scaling. Uniform scaling is what requires the model to scale proportionately. But if you uncheck uniform scaling, you can take a specific axis and modify that without the rest of him changing proportionately. So you could stretch him in effect and make him taller or shorter or thinner or wider without affecting the rest of the model. Just remember, whenever you're done making changes, be sure your model is zeroed to the bed.